valuation and yes quality assurance purposes okay so english for kids training so level two for students so for this training we will talk about on how are we going to uh, deal with this kind of students and then for the pre-demo just the same with your eft1 and i assume that you already had your pre-demo right with your uh, eft1 did, have you had your pre-demo with your other trainer trainings have you had EFK1 teachers? No. Not yet, Teacher Jen? <laughs> teacher Jen and Teacher Angel? How, how come that you all you had this training without <laughs> without passing the EFK1? What happened? <laughs> teacher Jen, Teacher Angel, and Teacher Joshua, have you had the EFK1 training? Yes, I'm done with level uh, one. Okay, so we only have two teachers not yet done with the EFK1. <laughs> My goodness, why why did you have the EFK2? <laughs> oh, you started with EFK2. Okay, never mind. So for the feedback, I'm going to give you detailed feedback on how you did during the pre-demo, just like teacher Maurice did a while ago. And then for the final demo, you have two options. So first option is you can choose one of the best classes that you have here in Arkansas. And then second option is that you can have the, the live demo with the QA evaluator. So live demo, it is applicable for teachers who are new in the company, especially if you don't have regular students yet because you're just starting in a company. And then uh, the, the QA will pretend as the student for you to be evaluated after the training. Next is the reminders on how we can be great teachers and how we can stay here for longer, okay? Next is the who, okay? So this is a lot easier. Uh, the students or level two students are a lot easier to handle with. They are already intermediate beginners, so they are in the middle part, and they know some simple words already, simple words and sentences. They, they can express themselves uh, well. Yes, I had an experience like on my in my in my experience, they do a lot of talking, especially if you know how to ask the right question. You don't have to, uh, you don't have to strain yourself. You don't have to, uh, what do you call this? You have to make your life easy, right? <laughs> because uh, teaching kids is really exhausting. So you asking the right questions will get you the right answer. Actually giving them the right questions, they will do the talking for 25 minutes, actually, in my experience, okay? So learn to ask the right question. And then they are seven to 12 years old. They are attending school already. So it means to say they are already exhausted <laughs> whenever they come at home, like uh, for evening classes, like many, many teachers are complaining that they are having less students, less bookings. Yes, teachers, because our students nowadays are so tired and exhausted going to school already and then they will have um, they will have uh, online uh, schooling like this. So many of them, they cannot attend the uh, what they call this, the teaching online anymore. So also they are very competitive. They want to be rewarded uh, every now and then. Yes, I had a student before he was crying like, uh, teacher, why you didn't give me? five star during the class like that so they are asking for a five star not just at the end of the class but also during the class okay so always give them generously as much as possible okay do not just give them at the end of the class and based on my experience they want to be rewarded all of us wants to be rewarded right even if we are old enough already we want to be rewarded <laughs> so give them generously even though they are stingy. I know that Chinese people are stingy, but give them generously, okay? So our main goal for EFK2 is to teach them to answer in a complete thought, in a complete sentence, okay? And also your energy and consistency is the must from the beginning until the end of the class, okay? So you have to exert a lot of effort, especially your energy. <laughs> they are using all your energy. And then the, the class flow, in every class, we have the class flow. Whether it's EFK1, EFK2, or EFK3, we do follow the class flow. Class flow is like the Bible. <laughs> we, we are teachers. We know that, the, that we follow a certain rule in teaching, right? So from the introduction, the, the lesson proper, and the wrap-up. So for the introduction, how many minutes do we usually conduct the introduction, teachers? Anyone? Teacher Angel. How many minutes do we conduct the introduction? Based on your experience. Three. 
Mm -hmm. Okay, very good. So actually, it's two to three minutes for the regular students and five minutes for the trial classes. Trial classes are not yet enrolled here in Akadzok, so we do extend the lesson or we do extend the introduction with them because we want them to enroll with us, okay? And then for the lesson proper, we consume like 10 to 15 minutes. And then for the wrap up, three minutes okay so it's just changing in the introduction if it's a trial class okay any questions so far thank you so much for making my life easy okay so just like the same with my efk one i do chunk it up i do divide it into three the class flow so um, uh the class flow is like our bible we have to follow it religiously <laughs> okay so in every number that you will see here, it means to say it is graded in the QA evaluation scorecard. You can add up, of course, you can add in this uh, in this standard class flow, but you cannot omit, you cannot remove any number from this. The QA evaluator wants to see every number in this um, in this in this PowerPoint point presentation that I am going to show you. Okay, so number one, the same with the EFK one. Greetings, you say hi and hello, and say hi to the parents as well, if you can see them, because they are the one giving us five stars, right? <laughs> and also, sometimes they are the one answering our questions like, it's a dog, it's a dog. <laughs> like, you, can, you can hear them whispering on the side, like teaching their students or their, their, their children. Next is technical check. So how do you do the technical check, teacher Joshua? Can you do the technical checkup for me? Um, you could ask, can you hear me or can you see me like that? Okay, very good. So you have to make sure that the student can hear you and the student can see you. And also, if you have Manicam, I cannot see that someone is using Manicam right now, but it's a must for you to use, okay? So you can use like, can you hear me? Like there's a flying ear on your ears, like can you hear me? Or can you see me like that? So it's amazing that you can use Manicam because during my time, we don't have Manicam. And up until now, I don't know how to use Manicam. It's just a pity. <laughs> okay, so number three is the introduction of the self and the student. And introducing yourself, don't make it too long, my dear teachers. This is not your time to shine. It's a, it is the student time to shine, okay? Always ask the student's age. It's really, really, really important. Why? Because th if this is a for final evaluation, the evaluator wants to hear if it's if it if the age of the student is for EFK two of course EFK two it's seven to twelve years old so it means to say if the age of the student falls on six six years and younger you will be disqualified of course so I don't want that to happen so you always ask if you want this to be evaluated for final demo always ask the student's age okay next is number four building rapport. In building rapport, we build connection with the students, right? So how do you do how do, how do you build connection with the student? Teacher Angel. Teacher Angel? Yes. How do you how, how do you build rapport with your students? By asking student if um how 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 they are feeling today or right now. Okay, very good. So give me an example, like, like um, for example. If, this, if they are, uh, if the student is happy or sad. Okay, very good. Is, so simple questions that can break the ice between you and the student. We want to build connections with them, right? Asking rapport questions like, how do you feel today? I'm sad, teacher. Why are you sad like that? So same with teacher Marie's a while ago. If you're asking a rapport question, you don't have to ask a lot of questions if there is no connection with the student at all, okay? If you're asking rapport question, one rapport question is more than enough. If you ask one question, then you can ask follow-up question from the answer of the student itself. If the student said, I'm sad, teacher. Why are you sad like that? So a while ago, the student is 
hungry, right? <laughs> so you want to give him a him or her a burger, but you cannot find a burger. <laughs> so it's like, yeah, building connection with the student. Let, let them feel that you are concerned with them, of course. Next is um, number five. Just a second. It's not moving. Okay, number five is warm-up activity. So for the warm-up activity, we include simple yet enjoyable songs. Songs are, or they have the highest, the second highest score in the rubrics of QA evaluators. So always include songs, whether you like it or you like it. But of course, in every rule, there's an exemption. If the mother doesn't want to have uh, songs, you can skip it. As long as the evaluator heard that the mother doesn't want to have songs, okay? But it's important because it has like four points in the in the evaluation, okay? Next is uh, the lesson proper. So for the lesson proper, we do the, the lead-in activity. So how do we do the lead-in activity? Teacher Jen, any, any idea on how to do the lead-in activity? Uh, oh, sorry. Hello? Mm -hmm. Yes. How uh, uh, you are to uh, introduce the unit and the lesson as well as the book. Okay. So leading activity teachers, we have to ask simple questions that are related to the topic itself. Okay. So asking questions, simple questions that can open up the lesson, like, for example, giving this the, the student the idea that, oh, the lesson for today will be about Colors, like for example, this one. So if the topic is all about colors, what's the color of my comb? Like that, what color is this? Or what's the color of my clothes? Like that. So simple questions that can lead, that can open to the lesson itself. And you have to confirm that the lesson is the same with the student. It's important that the book is the same with the student because you cannot move forward if you have different book with the student, okay? Number two, why it's not moving. Number three is giving the sand to the student chance to speak and read first. We have 70-30 70, 70, rule. So 70% for the student and then 30% from you. Teachers always give the student the chance to speak, okay? If, you're, if you do all the talkings, that's already a minus points for you. So always give them the chance to speak, okay? For EFK1, we have 60-40. So 60% for the student and then for 40% from you. But still, always, the student should be or should do a lot of talking. So, okay, not you. And then the knowledge extension. So for the knowledge extension, from the word itself, extension, we have to extend the knowledge. Just like in the EFK1, we extend the knowledge by giving them new words, like simple words, colors, and spelling. But since EFK2 are advanced, a little bit advanced from EFK1, we can include the sentence construction and also the grammar uh, lapses. So we can correct the grammar itself, okay? And then just... Just a second, I'm just talking to my son. Okay, <laughs> because he's a bit noisy and he's, I don't know why I want what he's blowing. Okay, so we have to extend the knowledge. Do not just be by the book. Do not just rely on the book, okay? So we have to extend the knowledge that is not written on the book, but we have to include it, okay? So sentence construction, it's a little bit harder than EFK1. And also the grammar, we have to correct the grammar of the student. And then number four, use props. In using props for EFK2, we need at least three. In EFK1, at least two, but EFK, uh, EF, uh, at least two for EFK1, at least three for EFK2, okay? So we have to have many cam. If you have many cam, that's already one. And then you can choose from these props, whether it's realias, you can use fake microphones like that, toys, like soft toys, teddy bears, dolls, cars, whatsoever, and then pictures, of course, flashcards. Videos, they, this can be props also. Next, number five, in giving reward, just like what I've said a while ago, give them generously and digital and di non-digital. For the digital one, they have seen this all over Akadso, right? Because 
every teacher are using digital reward. So making your own non-digital reward will make the student feel that I'm special, that I'm unique, right? So do or make your own reward system. Do cutouts of stars, cookies, candies, pizza, whatsoever that you want to give to the student, okay? Always give them a lot of rewards. Number six is add some activities. Yes, this is applicable for advanced learners. Yes, they are young, but there are advanced learners already. Sometimes you will finish the lesson in less than 15 minutes or less than 10 minutes, right? So you have to add drilling methods, like for example, synonyms, antonyms like that, or sentence constructions like that. You can scramble the words and then the student will make it in a complete thought or in a complete sentence. And then you can play games like puzzles, maze, like that. You can sing, you can dance, whatever you want, as long as you will finish the 25 minute class, okay? So it's a big no-no if you will finish the lesson in 15 minutes. You have to make it a 25 minute class, okay? Next is the wrap up. So for the wrap up, uh, yes, it's really, really important, but many teachers, they forget to do it or they don't want to do it. <laughs> but my dear teachers, it's a must. We have to follow the standard class flow, okay? So for the review, if you think that you only have five minutes left on your on your lesson class flow, so you have to lead the student. Oh, Lily, your time is running out. Oh, we're running out. I still want to talk to you, but let's now move forward the review part. The part. Let's talk about the things that we have learned for today, like that. Okay. So always lead the student to the review part. Next is number two, the feedback and the suggestion. We do give them detailed as possible. Okay. So detailed feedback and detailed suggestions. For the detailed feedback, I want to hear the mispronounced words that uh, the student, uh, uh, what they call this, have said, and also the grammar lapses and also the vocabulary. Make it as detailed as possible. I want you to correct the student mistakes, mispronounced words and the grammar lapses, okay? Next is for the suggestion, make it as detailed as possible. Don't make it a generic suggestion. Do not just say that, uh, watch a lot of movies, read a lot of books. What is the title of the book and what is the title of the movie? Okay. And this name, uh, business a business, we mean business, Akats is a business. So might as well promote the business. Okay. Keep studying with us here in Akats and you will become great someday. So always include Akats to stay with us because we want them to stay with us for longer. Okay. Because we are earning, we're earning money from them, right? And then check if there are questions and clarifications. Of course, this is a simple question, but you have to ask, do you have any questions? Okay. Next is number four. Give them the final reward, make it special as possible, and then ask for your own five-star reward. I know that teacher Marie's already heard this several times from me because she has been my student. Actually, there is no what they call differences, like uh, the, the, just the difference with the EFK one and two is the student itself. But the, the class flow, it's totally the same. So it's just like a review for you <laughs> for this training. And then giving the final reward, may I give them, giving them like um, five stars, 10 stars, whatsoever. And then you can ask for your own five-star reward. My dear teachers, uh, I, don't, I don't recommend asking for five-star. Actually, I, I just got reprimanded last week, last week, last two weeks. I didn't know that you are forced to ask for a five-star. Because during my six years of teaching, I never asked for a five star. Because you know what? If you know that you, you yourself, you did a great job, even if you don't ask for a five star, the student will give it to you. But if you know in yourself that you, that you did not do a great job, even if you ask for it, I will not give it to you, right? If I am the student, right? <laughs> I will not give it to you. So you have to make sure that you deserve what you're asking for. If the company is forcing you to ask for it, then it's okay, as long as you will do your best, okay? This is our bread and butter. Yes, the, we, some of you are just part-timers, just like teacher Joshua and teacher and me also, but still this is our bread and butter. We are earning from them. So we have to do our best for each and every student that we will have. Next is closing and end it politely. End it with a smile. Even though the student is the worst student that you you have handled in the world, always end it with a smile. Okay. Any questions so far? Clarifications, violent reactions? 
I guess that you're ready for the pre-demo, okay? So I'm gonna share my screen with you, just a second. Mm -hmm. So we have, <laughs> can you see my screen? Teacher Maurice. We don't have teacher. Hmm. Can you see my screen, teachers? No. Give me one minute. I'll just get one from you to become the pre-demo teacher. I will use the, the wheel of names since we don't have experienced teacher for now. Usually I choose one of the, the, what they call this, the most experienced among the group, but based on your introduction a while ago, yes, teacher Joshua is a teacher by profession and most of you have experience, but I'm looking for like oh, a one year, <laughs> one year experience in teaching online. So I'm gonna choose one from you, teacher Angel. We have teacher Angel, teacher Jen, teacher Ace, she's not here. Teacher Joshua and teacher Maurice. I think I will remove teacher Maurice because she has been my teacher for EFK1. Okay, there you go. So we have three, okay? <laughs> it's kind of unfair if I will choose her again. Listen, you, 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 yeah, you were my teacher a while ago, right? Teacher Maurice. Yes, okay. So we have three here, three lucky teachers. And uh, okay, so the spin of life <laughs> starts now. <laughs> so, da -da -da -da. so the lucky teacher for today is... Oh no! <laughs> it's teacher Joshua, congratulations. <laughs> okay, so the lucky student will be... Just a second. Dun, 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 dun. Teacher Janeline. Okay, so Teacher Jan, you will be the lucky student for today, okay? And then, okay, so Teacher Joshua, I'm going to give you like five minutes to prepare for everything. Prepare for your staff toys, um, reward system, cutouts of stars, candies, cookies, cookies whatsoever. What else? Anything that you have to prepare, you have to go to your class in you if you have class in already, and then you have to share it here on Zoom. Okay, any questions okay. before I leave? Uh, I will call uh, you again at 5 35. Okay, okay, thank right. you. See you in five minutes.